Hey all, it's Ian here from the Sports Card Side Hustle and I'm coming to you with a big grading reveal today. It's a weird one, it's kind of a unique one and it's a huge card. It's a Wemby, uh, Wembyana Rookie Kaboom from 2023 Crown Royal. And in the meantime, the time span between me buying this, me grading it, me getting the results, there's been a lot of talk about this card and this entire set of Kabooms and I'll go into that. And you're gonna be a little bit surprised of a few pieces of context here, I would think. So look, I this completed um, this week, uh, yesterday actually, or yeah, yesterday. So if we go ahead and look at the top order, you can see it's a June Super Express Special. I, I got that on special, it was like half price for Super Express, so I went ahead and put it in at that level because of the value I thought. Let's do a reveal use that reveal function where it's going to build a little bit of suspense when I flip it. Maybe a lot if it's running real slow. So that's the back. That's how it always does the reveal. It's, you know, a little bit of suspense there. This is rookie kaboom, not the gold, but still that kaboom is huge. Flip it. And I only got a PSA 7. Normally I'd be crushed by a PSA 7, but let's go through a few details here. Look at that top border, that line, how it starts well indented and goes near the right. That's a huge issue right now. The entire set is like that, and PSA is assessing that as off-centered or that it's meant to be centered. I didn't think it was supposed to be centered. I thought the set was designed off-set, but the, here's what's come up now as we brought raised the question and brought up this uh, research and dug into it further. All of their promo cards of this are perfectly centered. I could find some examples and show that. But um, so on top of that, now when you go into the card, there's graders notes for anything. I think it's express or higher. That's awesome. It, can, it tells us why. It could tell me, why did I get a seven? What's wrong with this? And so far for every single NBA Kaboom from the set that I can find graders notes of, um, a couple of them being mine now. I have a gold kaboom, uh, Giannis. They, they all say front, left to right, centering is off. That's the only note. That's the only discrepancy. That's the only thing keeping it from being a 10. So to bring this down to a seven, they must have assessed this was fairly drastically off center. Uh, just a little bit. It wasn't like 60, 40, or a little bit off, um, more than that. It was enough to bring it down to a seven overall from one of the four subcategories not doing well, okay? So, that being said, that's interesting in itself, but how is the market reacting? The market is realizing, I think, by the time these come for sale based on the population growth, that this is not a normal card for grading. These are not normal cards. Typically, I find nines from ultra modern sets to do just a little bit better than raw on average. And then when you, you can double your money on tens, double your money or better. But let's look at um, the results so far. Raw, ranging 3,700 to 4,200 here in recent sales. The PSA 7s up to 5,800 on the most recent with the cheapest being a $5,100 sale. Those are on PSA 7s, all well outdoing raws. Let's take a look at maybe why are people, you know, is there a good reason for why? So when we look at the data here, the pop count, what's driving this in the hobby? 23 PSA 7s have been graded and only one higher. That's incredible, right? So 23 7s, only one higher, okay? So that pop count is telling us something that, you know, this is the highest graded outside of one. Outside of one of all these, and everybody is sending this card in for grading if they get it. Trust me. Now, <coughs> I have more data on this to give you because I had to go to the vault. I had it set up to go to the vault and auction on eBay, and it starts in a few hours. All right. If you want to see what I paid, um, I'm transparent. I got it for forty three hundred, and I took the risk when I set up the grading to have it go to the vault for auction because I was sure that it would. Um, I thought it would do better and I thought it would auction really well because there's not a lot graded so far so keep in mind um, I got it for 4300 most recent sale was 5800 I'll take that I express graded it at half price with the June special so let me know your thoughts um, there's gonna be a lot more to come about the kabooms of this 
set there's been around 300 graded without a single 10 without a single gem mint 10 okay so let me know your thoughts on grading this card sorry um didn't mean to scroll there but i have a lot of other wemby's in the works but i'm cautious now about these kabooms although it's it's causing a weird phenomenon where lower grades are going very high because there are no nines and tens i there's no tens in the pop count for sure the gem rate confirms that and i'm not finding any nines yet if you can find nines from the set let me know and is there any news or any factual data that can be confirmed whether panini meant for this set to be offset with the border or if did they intend for it to be centered that's hard to find as well so thanks for listening please go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to know more want to discuss this please hit me with your comments give some input here let's discuss in the community and have a great weekend all thank you